Did you know that just a few years ago, China boasted hundreds of ambitious electric vehicle EV companies aiming to dominate the global market? Today, however, a different story unfolds, with numerous EV makers facing bankruptcy and leaving behind EV graveyards. So what happened? Why is the Chinese EV dream turning sour for so many? Let's delve into the reasons behind this wave of failures. Ever heard of the eerie phenomenon of EV graveyards popping up all over China? Picture this, bustling cities in China, each with its own graveyard filled with hundreds, even thousands of deserted EVs. But here's the kicker, these aren't just any old clunkers, nope, they all once proudly sported license plates, signaling they were once bought and officially registered. So what on earth happened to turn these shiny new vehicles into sad, neglected relics? Well, let's rewind the clock a bit. Around two decades ago, the Chinese government threw its weight behind the concept of new energy vehicles. Think hybrids, plug-in hybrids, EVs, and hydrogen fuel cell rides. It was all part of a grand plan to steer the automotive industry towards a greener future. Fast forward to the end of the first decade of the 21st century, and it became clear that electric vehicles were the golden ticket to catching up with the West's car giants. Soon after, a flood of startup companies eager to ride the electric wave came on board, with government coffers overflowing with cash incentives. China's EV story is incredible. If you're enjoying this content, like and subscribe for more, and leave us a comment about what you'd like to see next. Now, the race was on to develop and sell EVs. And yes, did the numbers skyrocket? We're talking a whopping 500 EV makers vying for a piece of the pie. But here's where the plot thickens. As the government started tightening the purse strings and imposing stricter conditions for those subsidies, panic set in among the smaller players. You see, to qualify for those incentives, companies had to hit certain sales targets. No easy feat for cash-strapped startups. So what's a struggling EV maker to do? Well, get creative, that's what. Many experts suspect a cunning scheme was afoot. EVs were being churned out left, right, and center, only to end up gathering dust in these graveyards. But why? Well, the theory goes that these cars were merely pawns in a game to secure government subsidies. You see, car-sharing companies were snapping up these EVs like hotcakes. But were they ever truly meant to hit the streets? Some skeptics argue they were merely ticking boxes to qualify for those all-important incentives. Now, here's what you should know. Take a stroll through one of these graveyards, and you'll notice something peculiar. A sea of outdated, first-gen electric vehicles. These relics couldn't hold a candle to the latest tech and quality standards. So, was this all just a natural selection process at play? Where the weak are weeded out, and the strong survive? Well, in fact, 90% of the EV companies practically don't exist anymore. China's aim to become a global leader in EV technology opened up so many possibilities for startup companies. By 2018, there were a whopping 500 of them. Now, that's a lot of companies vying for attention in the EV world. But even with China's massive economy, it couldn't handle that many EV companies. When it came time to mass produce these electric wonders, many of these startups hit a roadblock. They ran out of cash. Then, just when they needed a lifeline, COVID-19 swooped in, bringing an economic storm along with it. Suddenly, survival became a real struggle. Sure, some companies managed to snag fancy tech and set up production lines, but when it was time to sell in big numbers, they faltered. It's like having all the ingredients for a cake, but forgetting to turn on the oven. Sales numbers were disappointing for most. Instead of seeing thousands of EVs zooming off the lots, they were lucky to move 500 a quarter. And that's just not enough to catch the eye of deep-pocketed investors. Now, fast forward to today. The dust has settled, and what do we see? Well, officially, there are fewer than 100 EV makers left. But here's the fact. Experts reckon that even that number is too high. They suspect that only a handful of companies are actually making and selling enough EVs to keep the lights on. So what's the deal? Why are so many of these companies circling the drain? Well, it's simple. No sales, no money. And without money, well, you can't keep the EV dream alive. So what's next? Well, it's pretty clear that many of these EV startups are on borrowed time.
They might not officially go bankrupt yet, but it's just a matter of time before they join the ranks of the Walking Dead companies. To top it all off, the current wave of bankruptcy is probably the best indicator that Chinese EV companies are in big trouble. In the last few months, five Chinese EV companies hit the brakes and declared bankruptcy. Yep, you heard that right. These were companies that once had the wind in their sails, seen as promising players in the EV game. But what went wrong? Well, first off, imagine this. 80% of all EV sales in China are gobbled up by just the top 10 manufacturers. That leaves a measly 20% for the rest of the pack to fight over. Tough odds, right? Now, a third of these companies sell less than 2,000 vehicles a year. That's like trying to swim upstream in a river of giants. No wonder many are sinking. Now, let's zoom in on some of the fallen stars. Take Len, for instance. Back in the day, it was hailed as the next big thing, even giving Tesla a run for its money in sales. Fast forward to now, and it's filing for bankruptcy. Then there's Neutron, another casualty of the EV battlefield. And even Evergrande, new energy auto. Despite a massive cash injection from its parent company, it couldn't turn the tide. Imagine losing $17 million on every single EV sold. That's a hard pill to swallow. And let's not forget WM, the startup darling with a hefty $5.3 billion in the bank. Despite flashy tech and high hopes, it's now staring down the barrel of bankruptcy. It's like watching a superhero movie where the hero doesn't quite save the day. But why is this happening? Well, these companies are duking it out in a price war, and the smaller ones are getting crushed. Now, what's next for these fallen giants? Some are in the midst of a major overhaul, hoping to attract new investors like bees to honey. But let's be real, the road ahead is rocky. With the ongoing price war and other challenges of the super competitive Chinese EV market, the fall of all those startups doesn't surprise at all. Now, you'd think the big players have it all figured out, right? Not quite. Even among the top 10 EV makers, there's a lot of sweat and tears behind the scenes. Why? Because making a profit in the EV game is tougher than it looks, even when you're selling a ton of cars. Take BYD, for example. They're one of the few Chinese car makers actually turning a profit on EVs. But besides them and Tesla, it's a pretty slim list of winners. Yep, you heard that right. In the whole wide world, only these two are making money on EVs. But why are the others struggling? Well, let's talk numbers. NIO, a big player in the Chinese EV scene, sold just 8,000 cars last year. And guess what? They lost a whopping $35,000 on each electric ride. NIO's not alone in this struggle. Many other Chinese car companies are in the same boat. They've got fancy factories, thousands of employees, but still, they're bleeding money. So what's the plan? Well, they're on the hunt for a cash injection, searching far and wide for investors to bail them out. Take NIO again, for instance. They're knocking on Abu Dhabi's door hoping for a financial lifeline in exchange for a slice of the pie. And then there's the issue of the domestic market limitation, which is probably the main reason why so many EV makers went into bankruptcy. China is big, but when it comes to wealth, it's not overflowing. Most people here are not rolling in cash, which means they're not splurging on fancy cars. No, they're looking for something affordable, something small and cheap. And that's where the trouble begins for many EV makers. They're all trying to cash in on this market, but selling small, cheap cars means tiny profit margins. It's like fighting over the breadcrumbs. Only the big players like BYD and Tesla can really make bank in this game. They've got the resources and the reputation to stay afloat. But wait, there's more. Some companies like Geely and MG have a secret weapon, global reach. These guys have been selling cars all over the world for years building up a reputation for affordable, reliable rides. So even if they're taking a hit at home in China, they've got other markets to balance things out. So what does this mean for you, the average Joe looking to buy an EV? Well, fewer choices for starters, but on the bright side, the ones that stick around are likely to be the cream of the crop. Think cutting edge tech and top notch quality. What do you think about this whole China bankruptcy situation? Drop us a like and a comment in the section below. 
We'll see you next time.